Hi, everybody. Welcome to Drusifer's Idiocracy. Uh, if this is your first time here, I'm glad you're here. And if you're a longtime subscriber, thank you for coming back. Um, I just wanted to make today's video because I just um, uploaded a video about my second yarn giveaway. So be sure to check that out. And also, um, I wanted to talk today about this is what someone suggested. Um, and I really liked the suggestion. Um, I just had to talk about my beautiful hair, which does not look so beautiful today. I slept on it and I haven't um, showered yet because when you're stuck at home, which I'm now stuck at home um, for 14 days, I'm not sick, but um, let me move closer here. Uh, I'm not sick. Well, I'm, I'm feeling something, but because I had a sore throat and a cough, the place where I'm working wouldn't let me come to work. So they told me to stay home for 14 days. So that sucks because I was planning on having more money <laughs> than, um, than uh, I will be getting now from this job, which sucks. But um, I still have one more day of Friday's money coming in. So that'll, that'll be good. Um, London Fog. Oh, that hurt my throat. <clears> throat. Yeah. See, I have a cough. Um, yeah, I can't do the crazy London Fog video or parts today, but I'll try. I'll try. Um, anyways, she said I should talk about my beautiful hair. And I am not vain about my looks at all. I'm not like, oh, I have to look hot. But I am vain about my hair. I have to have a cute hairstyle or something that I like. Um, and I won't just go to any salon. I have to go to an Aveda salon uh, because they are all really awesome. And I only use Aveda skin and hair care products. Excuse me. Um, so I um, will have, um, you know, beautiful skin and hair for hopefully a long time after using their products, which I started using their skin skincare line uh, when I was um, 25. And I'm 35 now, and I have people guess me to be in my 20s. Uh, and I know it's just because my skin looks so great. It looks really young. Um, and I also kind of act immature, too. So I'm pretty sure that that's part of it. <laughs> but um, I've had some really fun hairstyles. Um, I one time was trying to dye my hair gray, and it didn't work out. But my hair was already bleached, and um, I had a um, um, fundraiser dinner to go to for promo in uh, Missouri, which is their pro gay rights organization. They, they fight. It's, it's like um, the Missouri version of um, um, the hu um, uh, human rights campaign, HRC, I think human rights campaign. I think that's what it is, um, which is a nationwide uh, um organization that helps um people's gay people's rights to not be squished by government uh but promo um for their yearly fundraiser they always have um a signature color that they want you to wear in your outfit and that year that i went it was it's, it wasn't just blue it was teal and um i was like well how perfect is this my hair is already bleached why don't i just dye it teal and so I went and I got online and found some Manic Panic that was permanent hair dye. Apparently they don't make it anymore because I was helping a friend look one time. And I was like, oh, use Manic Panic. That's what I used before. And now everything is only semi-permanent, which sucks. Because um, my hair was blue. I mean, oh my God. It was, it was like looking into ocean waters in Mexico or off the coast of Belize or in Jamaica. I mean, it was just blue and just... Ugh. And it stayed before my roots grew out. I mean, that, that, that was like three or four weeks. And then we dyed my roots, which weren't bleached, blue again. So you couldn't tell that it was grown out. Um, and so I probably had blue hair for about six weeks before I shaved it all off. And um, that's another thing. In the summer, I often shave my head. And, um, um, I haven't done it recently, but that used to be my summer look. So whenever I shaved off that blue hair, 
Uh, we also made sure that my hair had grown out enough so I wouldn't have blue on the side of my head. Um, and uh, yeah, it was really cute. I loved it. But then we shaved it off and did my my summer hairstyle. And um, it was it was wonderful. I started shaving my head when I worked at a rock climbing gym and I um, in St. Louis. I was an assistant manager and I was just really sick of my hair. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And so I was like, I'm going to shave it. So I took my clippers that I had that I used for my beard trimmer. Um, and it was they were actual hair clippers. I just used it to trim my beard. Um, I took it and I started doing it. And it looked so crappy. And so I called one of my employees. And she was also a friend of mine too. She wasn't just an employee. I was like, hey, you shave your uh, boyfriend's hair, right? She goes, yes. And I was like, will you come over and do mine? I started to do it, but it looks so bad. <laughs> So she came over, and where it looked bad was primarily anything that was past about right here. Because I couldn't, I couldn't see what I was doing very well, and so it wasn't staying close to the skin, and it was all choppy. So she came over, shaved the rest of my head, and I fell in love with how it looked. I was like, oh my god, I love it, I love it, I love it. And so I kept my head shaved for the rest of that, that most of that year, actually. And it's such an easy hairstyle to do. Like, you don't have to go to a barber. I mean, sorry. You don't have to go to a stylist to do it. You can just go to a barber or to, like, you know, Cuts Plus or Super Cuts or somewhere like that to get it done. And it costs, you know, like $10. Um, so I kept it like that for the summer for many, many, many years. And my mom hated it. She, she was like, I like it when you have longer hair. And I was like, well, this feels a lot cooler. And let me tell you what. It's starting to get warm outside here, and this hair, even this long, because it's, let me, down to my eyes, and it's hot. It's really hot still, so I think I'm going to go shorter again whenever I get my next haircut, whenever this lockdown lifts and places are allowed to be open again, but I think that's not going to be for a while, so I'm going to have to deal with having this long, shaggy haircut for a few more weeks. Excuse me. And, um, yeah. But I generally have had pretty, what you would call gay haircuts. Probably the shaving the head is the most butch. But a lot of my haircuts have been very gay. And, um, to understand what, I, what I'm talking about, you'd have to see... I don't know. Gay... Oh, like, look at pictures of people at Gay Pride. Like, Google pictures of people at Gay Pride, and then, then you'll see a lot of hair. Gay hair, I mean. Um, that's probably the best way that you could search for it. And so I um, have just had every kind of gay hairstyle that you could possibly have. And um, last, about a year ago, maybe a little bit more than a year ago, um, I decided I wanted long hair. And, um, like, I found this picture of a guy. His hair was all messy, and it was hanging down. And I was like, oh my God, I want that so bad. So we started growing my hair out. I got it to that length. And he's like, my stylist was like, all right, it's to the length that now you can style it that way. I styled it that way one time. And I was like, I hate hair in my face. So <laughs> it didn't last very long. <laughs> it's like, I, I would mostly comb it all the way back with product in it. And so I looked very dapper. Um... But once it got really long, it was really hard to do that. So when I was in rehab, I there was a woman who was in there who was a hairstylist, and she cut my hair um, for me into this mohawk um, um, um Euro mullet is what it's actually called. But the way my hair has to be styled, it goes into a mohawk. But I have, still have the hair on the side. But this needs to be trimmed so bad. That is so long. That used to be down to the skin. I'm so overdue. London fog. There, I can do it that way. I don't think I can do the radio voice today. My throat is really sore. Um, and so I'm very not concerned. It might just be allergies, but, you know, sore throat and a cough. That's one of that's those are two of the symptoms so i'd rather be safe and not infect anybody if i do have it um so i uh hair yeah have you guys seen the musical hair oh my god 
hair, 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 hair. Um, what is it? I can't remember all the words now. I used to not have it memorized. Um, and little bit of trivia. Did you know that Diane Keaton was in the original cast of Hair on Broadway? Yeah, she was. So, um, she was one of the, the girls that sing about black men. Um, and I thought that was really awesome. Um, and if you don't know the musical Hair, then check it out. Um, the movie is okay. Um, but the, the stage version is better. Um, and I've only seen bits and pieces of it from videos on, on like YouTube or, um, um, at, um, uh, um, show two nights at bars. Um, gay bars tend to have at least, at least one gay bar in the town where you live, if you live in a big city, will have a show two night. I don't think any of the bars here do because they have like country western nights. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So anyways, and also we don't have any video bars really here. It has to be a video bar uh, for it to be effective because you have to have multiple videos, screens all over the bar to, um, to watch stuff on. But there was this one in St. Louis that I absolutely loved going to, but then it burned down because every, well, everyone assumes um, that the owner burned it down for insurance money um, because he had just bought like a bunch of stuff that was like a brand new expensive truck and this brand new loft. And I think he didn't realize that it was going to cost a lot of money. So he burned down his, um, um, bar, although he conveniently was out of town. Um, but it was just, it was very suspicious. Even, even the, um, um, inspectors said so. Because it was apparently electrical, and, um, apparently. Um, and there's things that you can do to cause a fire using, using electrical means. So, anyways, I'm getting off subject. Once again. Oh, I didn't know Luna was in here. Luna's in my room. Let me give her a special little cameo without knocking my camera over. Because this is sitting on my bed. Luna... Luna, say hi. Hi. All right. I'll let you back down. Ooh, camera almost fell over. Thank God my arm is there. Um, speaking of hair, Luna can grow some crazy hair. Um, she, when it grows out, she looks like Tina Turner. Like her hair is like... And so I always call her Tina Turner when her hair is long like that. And, um, she, um, let me get back down here. Um, she just looks a crazy mess when her hair is long, but she's super cute when her hair is crazy long too. She just looks a mess. I love it. London Fog. Oh my God, I kind of got it. Here on Z1077 with the Drusifer. There, I got it. I did it. I did it. Oh. Well, I thought I'd be able to talk about my hair a little bit more longer than I thought. But, um, like, ever, well, no. Ever since I was a little kid, I was vain about my hair. Like, my hair had to just look the way I wanted it. It might not have been stylish, but it had to look the way that I wanted it. And, um... I was very picky and, um, yeah, I always have been, probably always will be. I think even going through AA and working out my, uh, character defects and everything will, um, not fix the fact that I'm vain about my hair. London fog. Um, now I'm going to lay across my bed like, um, lounge singer um 
sorry, I'm trying to make sure I'm in the shot. So I'm trying to do a better job of looking here at the camera instead of looking over here at what I'm doing. Because then you're like, why are his eyes over to the right or the left? Whichever way this shows up, my eyes are to the right. But it might look like they're to the left, depending on how this comes out. But anyway, um, um, yeah, I'm just wearing comfy clothes. I didn't even think about what I was wearing either. So it's kind of a trashy day. I look like trash. I feel like trash. Um, but that's nothing new. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Um, be sure to check out my um, last video from today about the yarn giveaway. It's um, some really nice yarn. And um, yeah, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.